Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and today I'm doing another Bionicle Classic review. Right now I have set number 8921, Predak. So Predak, he is once again another one of the Baraki, and he's probably gotta be one of my favorite favorite Baraki that I have out of the three that I'm gonna review. Um, I just have to review one more Baraki after this, and and it's also the last 2007 set I'll be reviewing until the overview of 2007, and then I'll move on to 2008. But anyways, Predax build is um, kind of different actually, but before we go over him, let's go over the instructions. So the instructions on the front, um, it's different from the actual set because on the front of the instructions, his eyes are red, but in the instructions, it says they're supposed to be blue, which I'm not sure why Lego did that, but I guess they're just red. I'm not sure. And um, it shows the um, instructions on how to build him. Instructions, instructions, all that stuff. And then when we get to the end, we have the um, list of parts that you get. Um, you get t you get two squid ammo, and then we have the advertisement for the Baraki again. And then we have an advertisement for the Lego Club. It's free. I I recommend you actually do sign up for it. It's actually really good because you get sneak peeks and stuff. Um, advertisement for um, shop for Lego shop at home or the Lego store and an advertisement for Bionicle Heroes on multiple multiple game devices. I actually have this game and I like it. I got when I was little uh, in 2007 or so. I don't remember what year I got it. But anyways, this is Predek. His build is different than kind of than the other one, other Baraki, mainly because of his body. His body is not the same as the other ones. I mean, it Seems similar, but it's not. But anyways, let's go over this thing. Um, um, he he's supposed to have two squid ammo, but I was only to find one other squid ammo right there, and you can put it on these little hooks right here on the side, like that. And then on the other side, you have a squid launcher, which is really nice, and you have the one of these new pieces underneath. So anyways, the um cool. Bring the back parts that you get, or the other new parts you get. Alright, so the new parts you get would be the head, these new teeth pieces, um, um, these pieces in red and white, um, these pieces, I'm not exactly sure if these were new to 2007, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these were, these, um, feet, and then... I think um, these are a new piece and a new color. They're old pieces, but in a new color, I think. And then, I think that would be pretty much it for the new pieces, but we do get some old pieces. Or actually, I don't know if this is new or not. This was new 2007. I think it's just a, it was like a new recolor for it, for the piece. I think, I think it's a new recolor. That's what I think. But anyways, other old pieces we get are these, um, are these Toa Nuva legs pieces, which I really like. They were used these back in 2003, I think. Yeah, 2003 they used these. So really nice bring back, comeback thing, those thing, those pieces made. Um, we've also got some of the um, Rakshi, Rakshi things. Rakshi legs. Um, I've got the whole lot of Tomata hand pieces. Um, other than that, not a lot of new things. Um, these are new recolors of the um, of the Tomatru legs, part of the Tomatru legs. But anyways, you can make Predax stand up like this, or like this, like that, or like that. Hunchback or straight up. Hunchback or straight up. It's actually really fun to do that, actually. So like that. So, and then, but he has some, but anyways, um, you as well get the squid with the launcher. I recommend you take it off for Predact since he's a little wobbly. But anyways, um, 
you put that in and you pull that back and you let it go. And that I want that time it actually worked really well. So I'm glad that, that happened. And then you can just simply put the squid launcher back in his hand like that. And then another function would probably be the snapping teeth thing, like that, you can do that. Other, he doesn't have a lot of function, he can twist his body like that, so yeah. So some cool things about the set would probably be the new pieces and recolors. Um, um, some, some, these pieces would probably be great, I love these pieces, I really like it how they brought back those pieces, so... That's another good thing about the set. Another good thing would be all the would be um, these new pieces. I think, or I think I said new pieces already. Um, squid launcher um, on this one works well, so that's a good thing. But bad things about him: his body is actually pretty loose, so he's really floppy a lot, a lot, a lot of the times. So yeah, he can be really floppy, and it's just not a good thing, so that's a problem. Um, I wouldn't really consider the, the arms to be a problem, how they're connected to the ball and socket joints. Um, it's like, it's just, I, I kind of like it, mainly because it's not like the normal type of way they connect things. So yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. So other than that, there's not much about Redak, actually. So yeah, um, let me think of any other things. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back, and I've thought about some things um, about the set. So one thing we have to do is the rating. I would probably rate the set a 9 out of 10. It's probably one of the best Baraki that I have. So really nice set, really like it. And then I also forgot to tell you that um, the instructions I have are actually in Really good condition, actually, so that's another thing. Um, uh, the instructions are pretty well detailed and everything, and all that. Really nice instruction booklet and stuff. So, like the instruction booklet, like the set, rated it a 9 out of 10. One of my favorite Baraki sets, so, but it wasn't my first, so that's it. Um, so yeah, either one of my first Bionicles was either one of the Tomari or the next Baraki I'm about to review. And I think this is going to be the end of this video. If you want more Bionicle classic reviews, stay tuned because there will be more coming up. And after the, ne the, next, the next review, when we go over Elec, it'll be the last 2007 review. So as I said... Well, we, we will be reviewing Elec some other time, and I will be seeing you guys again soon for the overview after that. Thank you for watching, and keep building!